Hi friends! If you are a radio amateur, maybe you have tried to make a power bank with your own hands for at least as a sporting interest. But usually, people make power banks with their hands for the reason that the factory devices aren't satisfying for them. In fact, the charging current of factory power banks is rarely higher than 1 ampere. I mean charging current of the power bank itself and not the output current with which it charges your gadgets. But sometimes 1 ampere is too small value. Suppose the power bank is 20,000 milliampere hour. Then charging will take about 20 hours or more, not to mention units with a higher capacity. The charge boards for one can of a lithium-ion battery based on the TP4056 chip are familiar to everyone. They can charge a lithium battery with a current of up to 1 ampere. The Chinese are now selling 3 amperes versions of such boards, which I successfully copied and even had a video about this. A link is in the description. So, I decided to combine 9 chips TP4056. It will give the opportunity to charge lithium batteries with current up to 9 ampere. Why do we need it? Firstly, such a board would be very helpful if you decided to build your power bank with large capacity. Secondly, now on sale there are powerful lithium-ion banks with a capacity of 80 to 100 or more ampere hours and they need powerful charge systems. I know that there are many options for charging powerful lithium cans, but the TP4056 chip remains the cheapest one. Each chip will give 1 ampere. Connect as many chips as you like according to this principle, getting the charger for any desired current. The advantage of the TP4056 microcircuit is that it charges the battery with the correct method, that is, with a stable current and voltage. As soon as the battery voltage reaches 4.16 to 4.20 volts, the charging stops. Let's come back to our circuit. I need this kind of charging for a very capacious power bank. I was asked to do it by my friend who deals with tourism and takes people on long hikes. I plan a power bank for 100,000 milliampere hour and it will be difficult to charge from a regular USB port or rather it will take about 5 days. Therefore, the assembly of 48 lithium cans of the 18650 type I will charge by the 5 volt bus of a computer power supply unit. It can easily supply with current of 10 or more amperes. Printed boards, as always, you can download by the link in the description along with the project archive. I pre-mirrored it, you just have to print. There are quite a lot of jumpers on the board, it is better to use SMD jumpers. Resistors with zero resistance, in my case, several jumpers are replaced with resistors with a resistance of several hundred milliohms since nothing else was at hand. TP4056 chips will be heated depending on the charge current and input voltage. They work in a linear mode and on each chip about 1 watt of power will go off into heat. If the input voltage is 5 volts and the total number of the chips is 9, then we get 9 watts of heat. It is quite strong heating. Micro circuits are cooled by massive tracks that are richly tinned, although it would be much better to use a double-sided board where the copper coating on the second side would play the role of a radiator. But I hope one-sided will be enough. Later we will make heat measurements and see how critical it is. I was very limited in time, otherwise I would have ordered a good double-sided board without jumpers and with good cooling at the GLC factory. Your order will be ready in just 24 hours after receipt, well, plus shipping. Delivery times primarily depend on your country. A company can make boards of any size and complexity, and most importantly, prices start at $2 for 10 boards measuring 10 by 10 cm. A link to the video with the full technological process of board producing and a link to the JLC website can be found in the description. There are several nuances due to the fact of one-sided mounting. Through the power tracks will flow current of about 9 to 10 amperes, but somewhere the tracks are quite thin. So it's better to pick up current in several places and then connect the wires in parallel. 
The first chip is leading, the others are connected in parallel just to increase the total current. The board has a pair of LEDs, one glow during charging, the other when the charge is over. Well, now let's test it. An experimental battery, we have an assembly of 18650 batteries with a total capacity of 8000 mAh, which was honestly measured. I previously discharged the battery. As a power source is 5 volt line of computer power supply. We connect. The process has begun. The corresponding LED indicator is lit. The charge current is about 8 amperes and this is taking into account the losses on the wires. We are waiting for 20 minutes. Then we take a thermal image and see that the board as a whole is quite hot. And most of all, two front chips are heated. The temperature on them reaches 83 degrees Celsius, but this is normal for the TP4056 microcircuits. After about two hours, the battery was fully charged. It is important to note that through the charging process the current will fall, and therefore the heating of the elements will decrease. At the end of the charging, the second indicator lit up, and the voltage on the batteries was 4.16 volts. This means that the assembled circuit is fully functioning and copes with the tasks, so take note of it, maybe someday you will need that. In the following videos, we will examine the protection circuit for such a powerful assembly. We will also assemble the power bank and test it. The most important organ is still to be assembled, I mean a powerful step-up converter. It will convert the voltage from lithium batteries up to 5 volts, which are needed to charge portable electronics. Links to all components as well as ready charge boards can be found in the description. Please don't forget to rate this video, share with friends. If you have questions related to electronics, ask them in our official group. The link is also in the description. At this, I say goodbye. Until we meet again, with you was Kaysian TV.